Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, hi, my name is Bemi Abiola, welcome. So today I have a really exciting video for you guys. Today I will be reviewing the brand new Melt Cosmetics Sex Foil Digital Liquid Highlights. These are the new release from Melt. These are supposed to be the liquid versions of their very, very popular digital dust highlighters, which are some of my favorite highlighters. So I decided to pick up a couple of them to show and demo for you guys out today so if you're interested please keep on watching and if you are not please stop right here it's not worth your time and effort all right guys so here is the sex foil the digital liquid highlighter set i picked up the dark set so there are three different sets on the site you can choose from based on your skin tone there's a light set there's a medium set and there's a deep set there are seven shades of the highlighters in total um so you get two light shades two medium shades two dark shades and then peaches and cream which is this middle shade right here is in all three sets also in this collection there are two new base brushes from melt love melt brushes you have the 777 face brush and then the 900 face brush the cost for this set is $175, and then individually you can pick up these highlighters. They are $39, which corresponds to the powder versions. The 77 Face Brush is $35, and the 900 brush is $45. If you're interested in seeing some of the lighter shades demoed on fairer skin, I'm going to link Linda, Miss Glitter Fallout's channel, down in the description bar below if you are a fairer complexion and you want to see what these look like on a similar skin tone to yours. What the bottles look like for the Sex Foils Digital Liquid Highlights, really, really, really pretty. Obviously, you get the classic melt script. Really love this font. It's a sex foil digital dust, digital liquid highlighters. In here, you get 30 mils or 1.01 fluid ounces per bottle. These are meant to be used on the face, on the body, beneath foundation, mixed with your moisturizer as like a body bronzer type of situation i don't typically use a lot of illuminating products when i do my makeup i do have a few that i have that these could be comparable to um i have the auric glow lust radiant luminizers however these are more kind of like a very very like soft lit from within kind of vibe um i also have the sol de janeiro glow oils which can be used on face and body however i personally do not like these on my face because they're really really oily and really runny i prefer them using on my body and then i do have fenty beauty body lava but however these are meant for body only not the face they're way too sticky and they kind of coagulate on the face let's talk about the name so the name sex foil i was very like <laughs> melt okay ready no you can be kind of with your names like we already know melt but when they actually like came back and clarified what a sex foil is i was like okay okay melt okay but still i'm just kind of like yeah 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 so what a sex foil actually is it's an architectural term it's an ornamental design having six leaves or petals radiating from a common center i'll stick up a picture of what a sex foil looks like like right here or over here, whichever side of the screen. So you guys know actually what a sex foil is because I was just as confused as you were with the name. Um, Like I said, the name, I would have preferred if they called it like uh, the digital dust liquid foils or just the liquid foils, something like that. So like people don't kind of get like skeeved because of the name. I have like, I wore a shirt like this so I can demo some on my chest, kind of like body, um, on my face as well. Yeah, I just want to demo it for you guys. So I'm going to start off by just spraying my face with some Fix Plus down just to kind of rehydrate my face. Just rehydrate my face. For my primer, I'm just going to use the Pat McGrath primer just to keep it very thin. Skin-like, natural, this will... 
spread it off my face. And then I'm gonna go into this shade right here. This is Nova. It has a pump so you can control it. I'm just gonna take some on my hand. Whoa. This definitely looks like the Nova powder highlight. I'm going to use the 777 brush, which is this brush. I'm just gonna run this all over my face. So from what I can see, this is very foily. It's very, very foily already. This is not like the Auric Glow Lust. The Auric Glow Lust kind of gives that um, kind of lit from within, more skin-like type situation. This doesn't do that. Like you could see on me, it's giving like that very like foily appearance so I'm probably not gonna wear this by itself or mix with a moisturizer because kind of looking like the Tin Man right now as you can see so um definitely I would use this just mixed with foundation or under foundation also um this 77 brush just to compare it this is the I think the 77 brush from the Amore Eternal collection, they're the same, same shape, same everything. So if anybody wanted this brush in particular for the Amore Eternal collection, it's now in Melt Standard Black Feral that matches all of the other brushes as well. Now for my foundation, I'm just gonna be using the Glowish by Huda Beauty Skin Tint. This is in the shade Rich 12. I'm just gonna pump that all over my face. To be honest, like, I've been wearing this and I low-key prefer it over the Fenty one. I'm sorry, but I do. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put it all over my face and then just use the 900 brush and buff that on top. Pull this down so I don't get any in my hair. Okay, so this is my face after I put on the skin tint. Um, of course, my skin is giving like very, very like glow from within. This is really pretty. Like I look glowy, but not like in a natural glowy way like the Auric Glow Lust. It's kind of like if I want a little bit like more pizzazz. It's very hard to describe. Yeah, I am going to go in with a little bit of peaches and cream this shade right here and i'll just highlight on top if this will squirt out no oh, there we go <laughs> i'm gonna go in with a little bit of peaches and cream this is the kind of like peachy shade that is in each kit I'm just gonna use the same brush that I used for the Nova shade. Um, I am just gonna tap a little bit of peaches and cream on the high points of my face. So now I'm gonna go into my concealer. This is the uh, Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This is in the shade Chestnut. I'm just gonna highlight underneath my eyes. Then I'm gonna go in with a lighter concealer, and this is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in 12. Just add a little bit more brightness in here. To kind of like add a bronze sculpt, I'm gonna go into my Fenty Beauty uh, Matchstick in Espresso. This is gonna just gonna give a nice subtle bronze sculpt to my face. Then I'm just gonna go in with my sponge and start blending out my concealer. I look very scary right now. I might have used a little bit too much concealer. So now I'm just going back in with my foundation, just touching up between my highlighted areas. All right guys, so this is my base. 
it's really really pretty you can definitely see the glow from within um really really beautiful i did use uh nova all over the face and then peaches in cream just on the high points just to give my high points a little bit more dimension glow um yeah i'm gonna finish my makeup off camera and then we can get into the chocolate dip shade all right guys so here is my face after i finished my makeup looks really really good i did use the nova digital dust powder highlight as my highlight um decided to go for like classic red lip glam you know um my skin looks really really beautiful um i thought i was gonna look like very tin manny like i did earlier but it is giving me that kind of glow from within a more drastic glow from within it's really really beautiful it's really really pretty so now i'm gonna go in with the third and final shade which is chocolate dipped um i personally could use this on my face I could use this on my face but i would personally use this as like a body bronzer so that's what i am going to do take some and put it on my chest i'm gonna, probably just gonna do two pumps one on this side one on this side all right i'm just gonna do two pumps i have skunk brush whoa that is darker than my skin tone but oh that's really pretty I'm just gonna buff it. I probably should not have worn cream for this. Like an ivory shirt. So that is chocolate dipped on my chest. I have not been outside, like, with my chest out and stuff. So it's a little bit darker than I would like. Let me mix a little bit of Nova over it. I'll probably mix Nova and chocolate dipped oh yeah nova and chocolate dipped beautiful body bronzer combo for sure that is chocolate dipped and nova on my chest really really pretty definitely nova is a <laughs> nova is a face highlight shade chocolate dipped is a body bronze shade i feel like if i had been outside in the sun sitting in the sun and get really chocolatey this would work i want to see what this looks like on my legs but for the most part i am going to mix these two if i use them for my body now i'm going to just show you swatches of what the soul de janeiro glow oils versus the glow lust by auric versus uh nova by melt just to show you guys what they look like all separately this first swatch that is Axonite Glow Lust. This is the darkest one that I have. There's one more shade darker than this in the Glow Lust. Um, that one is called Termaline. If this will focus. My shirt's throwing everything off. So that is Axonite. So I will swatch Nova. So this is Nova. Definitely it's more, as you can see, sheeny, foily. So that's Nova. And then last but not least, we have the Copacabana Bronze Glow Oil. The consistencies are completely different with all three so as you can see the glow lust is kind of like a tinted moisturizer luminizer kind of situation more skin like versus nova is more kind of metallic -y versus the sol de janeiro glow oil is more kind of sheeny um versus when you rub them in so let me just kind of like feather them into each other so you guys can see but like you can see the difference how nova looks more metallic the melt sex foils looks more metallic versus the soul which is more sheeny versus the auric which is more kind of like skin tint luminizer -y. do i recommend the sex foil digital liquid highlights personally for me i do not like 
liquid illuminators. I just don't. Um, I don't really like them when I'm using my makeup. I prefer powders. However, the one that I really like because it's not like foily sheeny is the auric one it's more of like a skin tint illuminator type situation kind of like your skin but better i prefer this one um because like i said it gives you that kind of like skin like without it being like super metallic super foily. so i definitely prefer this one these i feel like would be great on the body personally especially chocolate dipped if like you're my skin tone this would be a great like body glow product um if you want a little bit of to deepen up your complexion a little bit if you're darker than me this would be a great kind of like liquid highlight for you i personally use these two mixed all over the body this i would use if i really really want myself to glow really love peaches and cream it's a really really peachy color i like peachy colors um peaches colors and bronze that's typically what I like. Um, these, like I said, base and body. It's a lustrous, silky glow. It has a moisturizing complex. It's long wear and it's supposed to be transfer resistant. Not transfer proof. Okay, so if anyone's thinking, okay, this is gonna be fine. It's gonna, it's not gonna be, it's not, it's transfer proof. It's not gonna transfer on anything. It's transfer resistant. It doesn't mean it's not gonna transfer. Um, I did get a little sample of gold ore, so I will try this shade. Um, as well there are seven shades in total you have three different kits you have a light medium and deep kit um, like I said I picked up the deep kit um, you get the two brushes in the kit as well um, the 777 brush which is this brush like I said it was previously in the Amora channel collection so you can see the two different brush ways and then you have the 900 brush which this is a really nice foundation brush um i would actually like to get more of these um now I'll keep pushing out with the brushes um because the brushes are really nice so yeah those are my final thoughts i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think have you tried the brand new melt sex foils will you be trying the sex foils let me know down below in the comments. Everything that I'm wearing will be listed in the description bar down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Don't forget to follow me on my social media. My Instagram and Twitter are at Ben's Abiola. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.